fuel spill from a ruptured tanker spreads in a circular pattern whose radius increasing at, increases at a constant rate of two feet per second. How fast is the area of the spill increasing when the radius is 60 feet? Radius of the spill is 60 feet. First of all, um, what is the two feet per second? That's the rate of the radius, right, with respect to time. So what, what do you think that represents? The DRDT, right? So that will make some notes. We know that DRDT is given to us. That's the radius increasing with respect to time. That's two feet per second, okay? The other thing, what are they talking about when they say it spreads in a circle pattern? So what do you think we're talking about? area right area of a circular pattern so area what's our formula we're going to work with area of a circle so we're going to just say area is equal to pi times the radius squared okay so you look into the problem first thing you try to determine what's given what relationships are given and what formula you would need to work with to start okay and it says how fast is the area changing okay so what are we looking for DADT good so trying to identify what we're looking for sometimes is the task at hand so we're going to be looking for DADT so at this point we figured out DRDT was given to us we will use our area formula we're going to take the derivative with respect to time of that so D So dA dt is just going to be what is the derivative of that term to the right? 2 pi r, just 2 pi r, pi is just a number, 2 pi r and then we have dr dt. r is your variable, r is your variable so you have dr dt. Okay. Um, next thing we know, once we get to this point, we want to see if we can start substituting values in. So we have 2 pi. Do we know what our radius is? Yes. In the given problem, we, it was given us 60. And do we know dr dt? Yes, 2. So we'll get approximate um, 240 pi. That's going to equal 245, which is approximately 753.98, which we would round that up since this is a um, word problem, an application. So we're just going to approximately say 754 feet squared because it's area feet squared per second. So in that case, we found DADT. ladder leaning against the wall slips in such a way that its base is moving away from the wall at a rate of two feet per second. Anytime you see that rate that's when you know you're working with a derivative. Two feet per second. At the instant when the base is four feet from the wall. How fast is the top of the ladder moving down the wall at that instant? Now keep in mind this image is not provided or this information. Okay. Um, so the first thing you want to try to do is sketch an image. So we have a five foot ladder, it's moving against the wall, it says that when the base is four feet from the wall, so four feet is from the wall, that's going to be the x value. The y value is what we don't know. We don't know this. So basically that's what we're looking for. It says how fast is the top of the ladder moving down at a particular instant. So what are we actually looking for? dy dt right the, what's happening with y with respect to time so we're actually going to be looking for dy dt now let's talk about what's given they tell us that it moves away from the base at a rate of two feet per second so moving away from here to here what is that information dx dt right 
um, the movement of x with respect to time, so we have two feet per second. So write that down. Now you have to use some type of formula to be able to start and work with. Now we have Pythagorean theorem, right? In this case, we have a right triangle situation. So we can say, you know, you're most familiar with a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but in this case, we have x squared plus y squared equals your c squared in this case, five squared. So pull a formula that's going to fit the, t the given situation. So x squared plus y squared equals 25. Okay. With that in mind, we can also come over here and figure out our sides. Four was told to us. We knew the ladder was five foot. How can we find y? Just basic algebra. Pythagorean theorem, right? Or we also recognize this as one of our special triangles. It's a three, four, five, three, four, five triangle. So if you didn't, if you didn't recall that, write off some scratch work, you could just do to get y equals 3 right there, okay, to get this value to be, so that we know that that's a 3, okay, alright, so we're coming back over here, um, we have our image drawn, we have things labeled, we have in mind that we're looking for dy dt, and we're coming over here, we're going to take um, the derivative with respect to time on all of these terms, so, So we have x squared What about this first term? What do we get? 2x dx dt Good Next term 2y dy dt On the right 0 Okay So well, the next thing is we keep in mind where we're going. What are we looking for? Our question at hand is how fast is the top of the ladder moving down the wall at an instant? So that's our dy dt. Okay, so if we want to get dy dt by itself, move the other term to the right. So solve for dy dt, so divide both sides by 2y. Last step, plug in any of your known values that were given. What was given to us? dx dt. So also um, we can plug in our value for x and our value for y because we know that. So what was x? 4. What is y? 3. And what about dx dt? 2. So, what we found is that the ladder, the top of the ladder is moving at negative eight-thirds feet per second at that particular instant. Okay. Gas is being pumped into a spherical balloon at a rate of 5 feet cubed per minute. Find the rate at which the radius is changing when the diameter is 18 inches. So first of all, a spherical balloon, when we're talking about the inside of that, what are we talking about? Volume, right? So let me go ahead and give you the formula for that. So if I'm given volume of of a sphere, it's going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay. What's the question at hand that I have highlighted? Let's try to identify what we're looking for. The radius is changing, so what will we be looking for? dr dt. The, the radius change with respect to time. So we're, we're going to make a note to ourselves that we're saying, what is this? That's where we're going. Okay, that's where we're going, and the volume is the formula that we pulled because it was based on the information that was given. Okay, so we're going to take this with respect to Tom. So what we've done, DDT of
Over here, we'll get dv dt. And to the right, what is the derivative of that? When you multiply the 3 times the 4 thirds, what do we just have? 4, four pi r squared. What else? <coughs> What's the variable at hand? dr dt. Good. All right. The RDT is going to be what we're going to be looking for in just a minute, but we have some knowns. Let's also take care of some other things. Um, I know dV dt, right? They told me that at a rate of 5 feet cubed per minute. I know this information this time, so this is a little bit different. They gave me this information, so if I plugged it in, um, 5, and I'm going to make my notes self a note because of our measurements here. I have 4 pi. What about my radius? Do I know my radius? But radius is in what measurement units? It's in, so radius, let's make a note over here. Radius is going to be 9 inches. What is our volume given in? Feet. So Let's do the conversion of that. Nine inches is going to be what? 0.75 or three fourths feet. So convert that from inches to inches to feet there. So if I'm plugging in over here, I have three fourths squared, and then I have dr dt. Okay. In this case, what are we solving for? DRDT. So let's just simplify our right hand side for a minute. So I'm just going to have 5 um, over here. 3 4 squared times 4. What's that going to leave us with? 9. The 4s will cancel, so you're just going to get 9 pi. 9 pi over. Four because don't forget, let me see if you can see this. Uh, three squared is nine, four squared on the bottom is 16. This four and this 16 will reduce to just a nine fourths pi. DRDT. How could we solve for DRDT? Multiply both sides by what? By the reciprocal, so multiply this by four over nine pi. Four over nine pi. And we would just Simplify and get 20 over 9 pi is equal to, because this cancels this, this dr dt. So the rate at which radius is changing.